Hello people, how is it going? Christian here from CS Gaming and today, today is a really special day and it's special for many many reasons but the main reason for that is that we are going to test this beauty device, the Moto G100. But first I must apologize for my English, it's my first YouTube video in English and I don't feel much confident uh, speaking in English so I will make many mistakes uh, through the video so I must apologize for that but the important thing of this video is that you can understand me just a little and as I said in the intro the most important is to check the performance of this device on emulation. This smartphone is regarded as a budget device and I'm aware and I know that there are plenty of a smartphones uh, of budget smartphone out there but i prefer this one over for instance the poco f3 is the first that came to my mind according to specifications are completely equal but there are some points that make it excel over the f3 for example this moto has a socket for sd card for expansion to sd card and also has something that really catch my attention since the beginning and it's uh, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a software and it's a, an interface or I don't know even how to call it exactly Moto named Ready4 it's an special function for this device that uh, allow you to connect your smartphone to a TV or a monitor or whatever and with that feature you can convert your useless monitor into a functional PC. It's incredible, it's something that blew my mind when I heard about this. I have to try it out uh, first but well, these are the reasons because I choose this Moto and besides obviously the specifications. This smartphone comes with Snapdragon 870 with GPU Adreno 650, 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. And as I said, you can, if you wish, expand with micro SD card. Before starting with the test, let's talk a bit about the emulators that we are going to try, yes? Uh, well, first, PPSSPP, the most known emulator for PSP, and now I'm thinking it's the only one as well. Uh, Citra, the, we are going to test the Citra custom version. This is Citra MMJ, yes? Uh, after that, we are going to test Dolphin emulator and this one is the official build from the um, Dolphin, yes, from the team of Dolphin. Uh, there are uh, plenty of custom builds of Dolphin, but well, I finally decided for this one. And finally, we are going to test this shady emulator, Daemon PS2 Pro. Yes, I paid for this emulator because it's the only way to play PS2 games on Android so far. The last hope we have is Play Emulator, but well, for the time being, Daemon PS2 is the only option. But well, said all this, let's begin, once and for all. Well, we are going to start with PPSSPP, great emulator for PSP on Android. Um, we are going to test three games, God of War, Ghost of Sparta, Tekken 6 and Final Fantasy Dissidia. 12 or this game are setting at 5x resolution and I'm going to use Vulkan for all of them. And as you can see the Snapdragon 870 has no problem to run this emulator, runs perfectly well and smooth. Something that is obviously expectable for this chipset. I didn't mention it before but I'm using the GameSeer T4 Pro, it's a bad shed control as well and works perfectly well with Android and PC. I'm leaving now for a while so you can see the rest of PSP tests and I'm back in the next emulator.
helpless to resist. Round one. And we continue with Sidra MMJ and we are going to try three games and they are Mario Kart 7, Super Mario 3D Land and Resident Evil Revelations. I've changed here the resolutions and I'm used for Mario Kart 7 2x, for Mario 3D Land 3x and for Revelations I started using 2x but I decided at the middle of the gameplay to change it to 1x because the gameplay start going so lag and unfortunately this is normal in this game because it managed very badly the use of shader cache and also I have to mention something about Mario Kart 7 the performance of these games could be great or could be dreadful and all depends on the track you are playing and doesn't matter the resolution you set the emulator in some tracks the FPS counter will drop
No signs of life. But I feel like something's here. There's blood coming from the ducks. And now is Dolphin's Thorn. We are going to test three games here as well, and they are Guilty Gear XX. Resident Evil 4 and Super Mario Sunshine. I was swapping here between Open Shell and Vulcan, but I finally decided to set Vulcan. I tried all this game at 3x resolution, but with Mario Sunshine, I decided to change it at the middle of the game in order to get a more fluid experience. It worked okay at 3x resolution, but I was losing, I think, between 2 and 3 FPS. Something really important here to mention is that you might notice for sure that in games like Super Mario Sunshine and Guilty Gear, there are big black bars either side the screen. And this is due to the aspect ratio, because this is smartphone has an aspect ratio of 21.9 instead of the usual 29. Either way this can be solved changing the aspect ratio of the emulator, but doing so the game will look a stretch. Let's go. 
and the final test is Damon PS2 Pro. We are going to test here three games and they are Sly Cooper, Silent Hill 3 and God of War 2. And what I did here with Demon PS2 is swapping between the prefix tweaks, what the emulator gives you. You can find it in the bug mode. When you enter the game, you go um, up to the option that is called the bug mode, and you can change in between restore setting to default, fastest frame rate, and best compatible. And depending on the game, you can get more or less FPS. When you find out which of these profiles works best with your game, just keep it. It's important to mention that Demon PS2 is the worst and less compatible emulator of this video but as i said it's the best option that we have to play ps2 games on android and well people that would be all i'm not sure about the final result of this video i think it's going to be okay and i appreciate really your feedback on the comments yeah that is really important to me just give me your feedback what do you think about the this moto g100 i think it's a good option i think it's a solid device and for gaming is really nice it's not the best option of course but for the price you are paying is really really fair well i'm leaving now thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do don't forget your valuable like see you next time Bye-bye.